I was white boy. <laughs> By some black people, Mr. Lee Daniel. Remember when I said earlier, I've never seen so many cowards and black men in this business? I would have to put my brother Tyler Perry in that. What people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. Looks like after years of silence, Monique has decided to raise her game and expose all the people who treated her wrong. The comedian claims Tyler Perry has been exploiting black talent for years. These charges have shaken the industry to its core. Let us now go into Monique's expose of the industry's inner workings, which will leave you dumbfounded. Monique, the award-winning comedian, has vowed to expose the shady dealings of major black industry heavyweights, like Tyler Perry and T.D. Jakes. In an interview with Comedy Hype, Monique said that while she had never worked with Tyler, she witnessed his questionable transactions during a meeting at the Hootie Awards. She hinted that Tyler was trying to frighten her into working for free. Tyler Perry's dressing room, with approximately 25 individuals on his team, and he does this. As you may be aware, Oprah and Monique had a falling out while working on the critically acclaimed film Precious. You see, Precious was simply an independent film when she was cast as the lead. After the film earned rave reviews at the Sundance Film Festival, Tyler joined on board as an executive producer. Monique was having difficulty at the time of the event because Oprah and other members of the team were attempting to force her to participate in a free press campaign. She restated Tyler's attempt to trick her into participating in the campaign by promising her millions of dollars thereafter. It is vital to remember that Monique was young and inexperienced at the time. It was also her first big project. Tyler asked the actress to forego her fair salary for future projects that had not yet materialized. Listen, you may really want to consider promoting this film because if you get nominated for an Oscar award, your next film is three to five million dollars. Monique wasn't easily persuaded. She was aware of the industry's wage inequality and did not want to miss out on fair pay. The comic held steadfast in her stance, asking, I'm a black woman. Where do they pay those kinds of salaries, brother? What I can't do, Tyler, is work for free. Monique stated that she was not the only one who received the short end of the stick. She added that black women are so undervalued in the profession that when someone gives them a little more than their previous salary, they are overjoyed. For those who don't understand, Monique was responding to Taraji P. Henson's statement. I think the industry knew I was talented, but it's about money. Are you bankable? I had to keep proving that. I've been attempting to prove and improve. I was asking for half a million. I wasn't paid that much until my first Tyler Perry film. Later, Monique confessed that the black people who have made it famous in the profession are simply a group of cowards wanting to make a quick buck by exploiting the hard work of young, inexperienced actors. Remember when I said I've never seen so many cowards and black men in this business? I have to include my brother Tyler Perry in that. She added that Tyler and T.D. Jakes work together to keep their names clean in public. It's intriguing that Tyler had the funds when he wanted to present himself as a humanitarian in front of the church. But he wasn't man enough to accept Monique's offer, right? It really reveals where his moral compass is. When I see you perform a clip and go to T.D. Jake's church, I see you write a million dollar check in front of the crowd and hand it to this individual. Was that done to increase the congregation's revenue? Or was that truly genuine? However, Monique was far from done here. She took it upon herself to highlight the fact that veteran black celebrities, such as Whoopi Goldberg, are also compensated fairly. And they just sit there, taking in the injustice. Monique voiced her frustration that she did not want to remain silent merely to protect her name in the profession. She mentioned this because Whoopi Goldberg told me about her pay from The View, which damaged my sentiments. You've been there for 10 years, and you're willing to accept that pay. And you're telling me not to worry about the small ones coming up. Damn if I don't worry about you too. Because you accept that income, it makes it difficult for me. And how difficult do you think it will be for those who aren't here yet because you take that salary? What if mom's Maybelline wasn't concerned about you? What if they didn't make things better for us? 
I tried not to take it personally, but it is. Because they are the women I aspire to. So I don't want the little girl who hasn't arrived yet, or the little girl down the street at the juice bar, to walk away and say, that's not who I thought she was. The actress claimed that Lee Daniels informed her that because she did not dance to their tune as expected, they chose to boot her out. I received a phone call from Lee Daniels about six or seven months ago, and he told me, Monique, you have been blackballed. And I said I have been blackballed. Why was I blackballed? And he said that you didn't play the game. In an interview with Star, Monique apparently expressed her feelings about the harassment she had received. I was disappointed. I experienced the same injustices and disadvantages that all black women who came to Hollywood before me did. People often refer to this as anger. They term it bitterness. They term it unstable. They give it all kinds of titles other than what it truly is. Furthermore, when Tyler noticed that Monique's voice was making a difference, he quickly called her to initiate negotiations. That is nice, right? Not so much, because Tyler wanted to exchange one apology for another. Monique said, and Perry told her that what I did to you was wrong. Then he phones back and says, I'll meet with Monique but not her husband. Then she had to apologize to me and Oprah Winfrey for implying that we were responsible for damaging her career. That was recent. In a vulnerable moment, Monique revealed that she did not want to agree to Tyler's demands since she had witnessed what happened to the women who did not speak up against injustice. She stated, So I realized by then that when you give up everything for a place like Hollywood, you end up being alone. I am familiar with the history that came before me, as well as the stories that were told. Those ladies died not only broke, but also heartbroken. They died alone because they put their everything to a business that ultimately failed to provide for them. To put things in perspective, when Monique won the Oscar in 2010, she did not thank Tyler during her acceptance speech. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the Academy for demonstrating that it is possible to focus on performance rather than politics. I'd like to thank Miss Hattie McDaniel for experiencing everything she had to so that I wouldn't have to. Ricky Anderson, our Anderson and Smith attorney, appreciates your efforts. Thank you so much to my entire BET family and adorable family. Thank you, my beautiful husband Sydney for reminding me that sometimes you have to forsake what is popular in order to do what is right. And sweetie, you are absolutely right. God bless you everyone. Despite the prominence of the title, Monique acknowledged that the prize made no difference in her life. What I understood was that if I won the Oscar, everything would alter in the ways you describe. It should come with increased respect, greater options, and more money. It should and usually does. Monique openly asserted that, while business insiders had been disparaging her, none of them had the audacity to label her a liar. She maintains that everyone in the know understands the truth, but they want to safeguard their livelihood. Fans are right there with Monique on this one. Dang, I thought it was horrible witnessing our black community killing each other in the streets over drugs, money, and property, but it elevates things to a whole other level. It's awful to hear and see our black community in the entertainment industry destroying one another's characters for money, fear, and communal status. It's so painful for Monique. That's it for today. We will see you at the next one. Until then, so long. That's it for today. We will see you at the next one. Until then, so long. That's everything for today. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, so long.